Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to show you how do you catch pullbacks and retracement with this moving average trading strategy, okay? There are many people who know the moving average, right? The indicator, they know how to, you know, how it works. But what they don't know is that they don't know how to actually put it together and use it as a trading strategy, okay? So in today's video, I would like to show you how to do just that. Okay, I'll give you a full breakdown of this strategy, right? I will tell you the entry criteria. I'll give you the stop loss and I'll tell you how to take profit as well, okay? So what am I going to cover in this video, okay? As I mentioned, the first thing that I want to do is I want to cover the criteria of the moving average trading, trading strategy that allows you to capture the retracement and pullbacks. Okay, basically, uh, what happens is that you're looking for a trend, right? And you're trying to catch a pullback to enter into the existing trend, okay? I'll, I'll go through the entry trigger, meaning how do you enter the trade? Where do you put your stop loss? Uh, how do you take profit and all those good stuff, okay? So it's a, it's, it's a full walkthrough, okay? I don't leave you hanging. I give you the entry, stop loss, and the take profit, right? I want to... After that, I want to show you examples. I want to go to the charts. Well, switch to trading view and take you through step by step how I do it, right? So that hopefully you can uh, apply it, right? After watching this video, you can go straight to your charts and start back testing it, okay? Now, if you stay to the end, okay, I have a special source, okay, quote unquote source that can drastically increase your win rate with this strategy, okay? So if you are trading some form of moving average trading strategy, right, it doesn't have to be hours, right? You want to stay tuned to the end because uh, this secret source will help you increase your win rate, okay? And if you go to other YouTube channels, you will not see this, okay? This is not a rehash of other people's materials. This is our own experience, okay? So you want to stay to the end because that, you know, that will help you increase your win rate, okay? And who doesn't want a higher win rate? Okay, so by the way, if you are enjoying this video so far, right, give us a thumbs up, right, help us to grow this channel, right, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also turn on the no notification bell, okay, we create videos like this almost every day to serve you, right, we are here on a mission to help you become a profitable trader, okay, so please just help us to grow, right, it doesn't take you more than five seconds of your time, so we would definitely appreciate it, okay, we also have a free day trading guide for you, so make sure you check that out, the link is in the description, okay, that that's another trading strategy that works, okay? We have a lot of videos about it and it, it works, period, right? So if you know you're a bit confused, you need a guide, right? If this information in this video is a bit too complicated for you, then uh, you, please get our free day trading guide because we cover everything that you need to know in that free day trading guide, okay? So let's go into the criteria of the moving average trading strategy that uh, I, I would like to teach you today. Okay, so there's only two criteria, two very simple criteria. Okay, the first criteria that it must follow the long term trend. Okay, so how do we define long term trend? Okay, so let me see if I can draw it. Okay, so earlier on I said that this strategy is you are trying to catch the, you know, you're trying to catch the retracements here. Okay, so step number one, or rather criteria number one, is that you must have the moving average sloping up. Okay, so this is a 200 period exponential moving average. Okay, just a brief introduction. If you do not know what a moving average is, what it does is it just takes a previous 200 candles, right? A 200 period a moving average means that it takes a previous 200 candles closing price and forms a... Uh, kind of like a smoothen line so that it's much clearer, okay? Of course, if you use a 50 period, then it's going to take into account the previous 50 candles, right? The close of the previous 50 candles, okay? So that's how a moving average works, okay? So criteria number one is that you want to follow the long-term trend, okay? In our definition is that uh, price is above the 20 EMA, okay? If you want to buy, okay, uh, price must be above, the 200 EMA, if you want to sell, then price must be below the 200 EMA, okay? So if that if you see that price is above 200 EMA, you do not want to be selling, okay? You do not want to be selling. This is very important, okay? You do not want to be selling, okay? Even if the 50 period moving average is down, meaning that, um, you know, maybe the 50 period moving average is higher, okay? But it's price is still above the 200 moving average, you will still want to buy, okay? You do not want to be looking for selling opportunities, okay? This is very important. You always want to follow the long-term trend, okay? So ask yourself first, 
um, what is the long term trend. Okay, that's very easy. Just plot the moving average and uh, you should have your directions. Do you want to buy or do you want to sell? Okay. Now, criteria number two is that we are going to use another exponential moving average, which is the 50 period exponential moving average. Okay. You want to see price bounce off. Okay. So you have the 200 moving average, okay? And then you have the 50 period moving average, okay? So you wanna see price come to, to, come to the 50 period moving average and bounce off, okay? So this is a bullish example, okay? So I will go into the charts later to show you how to apply this, okay? So not to worry. Okay, let me just clear this and then I'll proceed. Okay, so how do you enter? Okay, before I go into the actual case uh, examples, I want to talk about the entry trigger first, stop loss, and how do you take profit? Okay, so your entry trigger is very simple. Okay, as I mentioned, you want to look for a reaction of the 50 exponential moving average. Okay, so your entry is very simple. I want you to look for a candlestick pattern. Okay, there is the engulfing pattern and the pin bar pattern. Okay, you can just use these two patterns. Okay, again, um, I have all this covered in the free day trading guide. So if you have not downloaded it, make sure you download it. Okay, so basically this is the bullish engulfing pattern. So basically this candle over here uh, engulfs this candle. Okay, the close of this candle is higher than the, uh, the open of this candle. Okay, for bearish engulfing pattern, the close of this candle is lower than the open of the previous candle. Okay, a pin bar on the other hand is just kind of like a very long weak candle. Okay, but in the end it closed, you know, it closed back lower to show that there is strong rejection of the level. Okay, again, I do not want to go into too much details because all this is provided in a free day trading guide. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you kind of already understand how to read candlestick patterns. Okay. So your entry will be very simple. The moment you see any of these candlestick patterns, you can enter uh, the trade, okay? So how do you do your stop loss, okay? How do you set your stop loss, okay? You can set your stop loss as one ATR above below your entry, okay? What is one ATR, okay? In this case, you are looking at the 14 days um, daily ATR. That means you go onto the daily chart, okay? You go onto the daily chart and uh, you find out what is the ATR, okay? So if let's say the, the the ATR is 40 pips, then you're going to set a stop loss of 40 pips from your entry. Okay, again, uh, I'm going to the chart. So if you are a bit confused, uh, just, just, just wait for me to finish this portion. Okay, I'll just cover finish the take profit and then we'll go straight into the charts. Okay, so take profit, uh, you have two options. Okay, option number one is more of, uh, you know, if you are just trying to catch a um, swing, just try to catch a swing in the market, uh, what you can do is you can exit at the previous um, swing high or swing low. Okay, that's option number one. Option number two is if you want to write the trend, then you can throw your stop loss. Okay, you can throw your stop loss below the moving average, the 50 period moving average, or you can throw your stop loss according to market structure. Okay, again, I will go into the charts to explain each of this. Okay, so not to worry. Okay, so let's go into the charts right now and let me show you how do you apply this strategy. Okay. Okay, so right here, what we have is the euro dollar. Okay, we're on the daily chart. Okay, so the first thing is that uh, we need two of the uh, exponential moving average. We have the 50 period and we have the 200 period. Okay, in this case, uh, this blue line here is actually the 50 period and the uh, orange line is the 200 period exponential moving average. Okay, so criteria number one involves looking at the 200 period moving average. Okay, so very simple. Anything above, if price is above, then you want to be buying. Okay, if price is below, okay, you want to be selling. Okay. So as of right now, the market is in it's above, it's trading above the 200 EMA exponential moving average. So that means that you want to be buying. Okay. So how do you buy? Okay. In this case, you want to wait for price to, to retrace. You want to wait for price to retrace to the 50 period moving average. You want to look for a candlestick pattern and then you want to enter the trade. Okay. Of course, this hasn't happened yet. So let's go back into history so that I can show you some examples of this strategy. Okay. Okay, we have it here. Okay, let's say that uh, we are somewhere over here right now. Okay, let's say that uh, it's here. Okay, let's look at this area, this zone. Okay, so criteria number one is that the uh, price must be trading below the 200 uh, EMA. Okay, so yes, uh, it is. 
Okay, criteria number two is that uh, you must see a form of rejection at, um, at the 50 EMA, 50 period EMA. Okay, so we have that as well. Okay, so over here we have a, if you zoom in, right, you can see that we actually have a, a very nice pin bar over here. Okay, so what we do is that uh, we have the, uh, move, the ATR as well. Right for for our entry and our for our entry we use the candlestick pattern for our stop loss we use the ATR okay so right here I have the fourteen uh, day ATR and we're in the day chart okay so just a gentle reminder you always want to be using the daily ATR okay do not use this on H four because ATR has to be used on the daily because you want to know the daily range okay knowing the H four range it's it doesn't really make sense, right? Because when you set your stop loss, you always want to take into account the entire trading range, the entire day's trading range, not just four hours, okay? So please use the ATR on the, um, for, uh, on the daily chart, okay? So if you do not know what ATR is, ATR is basically an indicator that calculates the range of the previous X number of days, okay? So in this case, we are using a 14 days. So it means we are trying to calculate the average range of the past 14 days, that the market has been trading, right? Between the high and the low, what's the range, okay? So that's how you get this graph over here, okay? So let's say you were to enter somewhere uh, here upon this uh, candle here, okay? How do you set your stop loss, okay? At this candle here, just look down, okay? Look down at this level, and uh, you can see that um, the, the, at this level, the ATI is actually 0 0.00448, okay? So the way to read this is that it's actually 44.8 pips, okay? So you want to set a stop loss of 48 pips, sorry, 44.8 pips, which is about 45 pips, okay? Just, just round it off, okay? So it's about 45 pips. So if you enter here and you put a 45 pip stop loss, you, your, end, your stop loss will be somewhere here. Okay, so this is how you structure the trade. Okay, so in this case, um, you entered here, your stop loss is above here. Okay, your take profit could be the recent low. Okay, you could do it here. Okay, uh, if you do it here, your risk to reward is not that good. Okay, that's option number one. Okay, if you take profit at the uh, pyro swing high or swing low. Okay, the other way is to actually trail it, right? You can trail it through a couple of ways. Okay, let me just clear it and show you how uh, we can actually trail it. Okay, one way to throw it is actually using the uh, EMA, meaning that uh, just wait for price to close above the EMA, okay? Now, the problem with it is that a lot of times, if you do that, you might give back a lot of your gains, okay? In this case, let's say you entered here and you know you didn't take profit and then you see price retrace back here and then your, your entire profit is almost gone, you see? Almost gone. But if you know you sit through, you would have uh, hold it until somewhere here, okay? Where where are uh, you? Where price closes above the uh, fifty period EMA? Okay, that's how you trail it. That's one way to do it. Okay, the other way is to use the market structure, meaning that uh, you can see that uh, this is actually a swing low. This is a swing high. Okay, if you cannot see it, just change back to the line chart. Okay, and you can see that this is a swing high. And then every time price makes a new swing high, uh, you just put your stop loss here. Okay, so that's another way for you to trail your stop loss. Okay, again, there is no right, there is no wrong. So it's just up to you. Okay, so let's go through another example. Okay, before I move on to the secret sauce, which I know a lot of you are waiting for, right, because you cannot find this uh, anywhere else. Okay. Same thing, okay? You have the 200 uh, EMA sloping down, okay? That's criteria one checked, okay? Criteria number two is that you want there, there, there to be a rejection of the um, 50 period uh, exponential moving average in which you actually see it over here, okay? You see that at this candle here, there is a, um, there is a pin bar over here, okay? So this is your entry, okay? This is your entry. So how do you place the trade? Look down to your ATR and you realize that it's 0 0.0078. Okay, so that means it's about 78 pips. Okay, so what you can do is you can put a short position, just enter when the candle closes, put a stop loss about 78 pips. Okay, so about like this. Okay, about 78 pips. And uh, depending on how you want to take profit, you, you can choose to take profit at the, you know, um, recent low. Okay, in this case, you can do it here. Again, the stop loss is not fantastic. Or you can, you know, take it even at this recent low. Okay, or you can trail it, trail your stop loss uh, as what I mentioned uh, earlier on. 
Okay, so you can see that this is a very straightforward uh, strategy. It's simple, it's effective. Okay, ideally you want to stick to the day chart. Okay, I would recommend you to start from the day chart if you are new to trading because it's the clearest. Okay, it's clean, it's easy. Okay, it's not too com confusing. The moment you start going to the H4 charts or the H1 charts, uh, price gets a bit messy. Okay, so if you do not yet have the experience to trade the lower time frames, I would recommend that you start on the daily chart. Okay. So this is the strategy, okay? So now let's go back to the PowerPoint slide and let's talk about the secret sauce, okay? How do you drastically increase your win rate when you are trading using the moving average, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to watch the prior reaction to the 50 period uh, EMA, okay? If you are using your own uh, moving average strategy, that's fine. So what you want to do is you just want to watch the, the prior reaction to the fit, to the moving average that you're using, okay? So if you see that price is supported or resisted at least twice, okay? Then you have the hypothesis that, okay, the market is really observing the uh, moving average and I can reasonably conclude that if it's supported twice, it is going to be supported yet again, okay? So in this case, you are really letting the market tell you that, that hey, look, uh, we are actually paying attention to the moving average, okay? Rather than to just assume that uh, your currency pair or your, your instrument that you're trading is going to respect the 50 period uh, EMA or whatever moving average that you're using, okay? You want to let the market tell you, okay? So how do you do it? You look for two, two times, okay? So in this case, I've put out the euro dollar. You can see that it was rejected once, okay? It was rejected twice. So on the third time, you expect it to be rejected again, okay? So this is how you do it, how you introduce this secret sauce to increase your win rate, okay? And when you see this kind of things, it's very good for you to trail your stop loss according to uh, this uh, moving average, okay? Because you entered knowing that the moving average is going to be resisted, right? So it only makes sense that you exit when price breaks this moving average and when this hypothesis of yours is no longer true. Okay, so this is how you do it. I have another example for you and then I'll just do a summary and end of this video, okay? So I have another example over here. So it's the same thing, we are on the Euro dollar again. So let me show, show it to you, okay? So again, you have the prior, uh, prior 50 period exponential moving average, okay? The blue one, blue line. You can see over here that it's supported once, supported twice, okay? So again, as I mentioned, if price is supported or resisted the past two times, then it's, it's very likely to happen again. So look what happened over here, okay? Price was supported yet again. Price was supported yet again. Here, it's, it's kind of still supported. And then finally, it broke, okay? So let's say if you were to enter here, okay? Uh, depending on how you manage your, your trade, Okay, you may or may not have made money. Okay, but I want to just show you the concept. Okay, the concept is that you want to watch for the reaction at your moving average first. Okay, you do not want to assume that the market is going to be looking at your uh, moving average. Okay, because there are a thousand and one combinations of moving average out there. So how do you know uh, that the market is looking at it? Okay, you just watch the market, right? You let the market tell you, you do not try to predict whether this moving average is significant or not. Let the market show it to you, let the market test it twice. And if it holds, then you know that, okay, it's very likely that uh, the third time it is going to hold. Okay, so this is how you, uh, how you use this secret sauce that can help increase your win rate. Okay, so hopefully you enjoy that. Again, if you are enjoying this video, right, please, right, help us to grow, right? Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button because we're dropping so much value just, you know, just to serve you, just to help you. And all this information is made available for you for free on our channel, okay? We have a lot of other videos. So make sure you check out our other videos as well, okay? So just a recap, okay? So today, in today's video, Okay, I gave you the criteria of the moving average trading strategy. Basically, you want to look at the long-term trend, which is 200 EMA, right? Uh, if it's up, 
if, it's, if price is trading above it, you want to be buying. If tr price is trading below it, you want to be selling. Okay, then you look at a you look at the 50 period uh, EMA. Okay, you want to look for a bounce of it, meaning that price is supported or resisted at the 50 period uh, moving average. Okay, I talk about the entry trigger, which is using candlestick patterns. The stop loss is using your ATR, one ATR. Okay, take profit is optional. You can target the previous swing high or swing low, or you can trail your stop loss according to market structure, right? I gave you examples, right? If you need to go back and, you know, look at these examples, right? You can feel free to rewind this video to watch, um, you know, to rewatch how, how I did it, right? Okay, what you can also do is you can uh, go to tradingview.com and start applying this strategy after this video, okay? Lastly, I share with you the secret sauce to drastically increase your win rate, which is by actually watch, watching for the reaction uh, to the moving average, okay? You want to at least identify that price has been re resisted or supported twice uh, on that moving average that uh, you've chosen, right? Once you see that, then you can reasonably conclude that the third time it is going to be supported again. Okay, so I've come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, right? If you have any questions about this strategy at all, just leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to address it. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the Telegram channel.